Hello, I'm Morris Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor. The topic here is on the creatures that want to persist in chewing on you, eating you, uh, annoying you. I did have a talk on seven books about insects, but this focuses in on a particular problem, and that is the creatures that annoy, that bite. This one here is insects and allergy and what to do about them. There are certain insects that when they bite you, the venom, well, for example, a sensitive person who is, uh, uh, has the problem that they are allergic to bee stings, when you get bitten by a snake and you're gonna die from that snake bite, it'll be day after tomorrow. If you get stung by a wasp, the, you don't die day after tomorrow, you die in the next half hour because that's how violent the reaction is. And of course it's good to know about these sort of things when you're wandering around in a country where, where, where such things are, are common. So allergy and in insects is covered here. Outwitting critters, confronting the, the devious animals. And this here is more of the annoyance of, uh, of uh, uh, snakes and and skunks and, and white-footed mice and voles and so on. So you're getting uh, into uh, uh, the annoyances that the wild creatures can impose on you when you're trying to live your everyday life and your roses are continually eaten by, by the deer. Ticks are a problem and enough that you want to get two different perspectives, ticks and what to do about them and outwitting ticks. And the type of, of uh, medical conditions that can result from being bitten by ticks are, are pretty serious. And so being really knowledgeable on all the little creatures that bite, the little creatures that you hardly even see exist. You go to a, a outdoor toilet and you sit down and discover that there are certain little bugs that um, uh, find shelter there, and if you are bitten by one, you can end up with a very serious illness. Living things we love to hate, the annoying, bothersome creatures. Perhaps this focus here you know, seems like you might be dealing with garden pests and things that bite. So uh, 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 a good friend of mine, Tom Anderson, uh, it occurred to him that there wasn't a, a, a collection of information about all the creatures that annoy us by biting in one way or another. And so he's put this together. And uh, I would say that generally you might just get by very well with this one rather small book instead of all these others. But it's to your benefit that you become familiar with these uh, books. And in this case, this is almost like one very big book. The fearsome fauna. Now this one focuses on the creatures that want to take up residence in you, in your gut, in your bloodstream, and so on. And in some parts of the world, it's very good to know what you might pick up if you um, come from an environment where you don't have to pay attention to this sort of thing. At any rate, in reading these collected seven books, you will be well versed in the issue of knowing how to handle insects and so on, you will often get a survival manual and there might be a page or two devoted to each one of these creatures so that you got a 10 page article and with that you're supposed to find uh, the means to defend yourself and understand. No, I think you have to become quite a bit more uh, encyclopedic with regard to what you're learning in order to be able to do a better job than based on a paragraph or two that is found in some some manuals.